So I'm going to start today with something you probably know, but maybe you don't remember. Maybe you haven't seen it presented exactly this way, uh, but we'll use it quite a bit in this class. So I just want to cover it, and that's the integration by parts, identities. So you probably haven't seen it written exactly like this, but if you have the integral of a function, functions w and v, that's equivalent to the integral w dv It's also equal to that, and this identity can be established so if we just use the product rule on W and V we know that that's DW DX V plus v W DV DX which implies W dV dx equals d dx wv minus dw dx v. And now we're just going to integrate this, this last, um, this thing, integrate it over A to B. So then just split the integral up. And this first term is a perfect differential. So you have thereby establishing the, the identity. So probably all seen this at least from when you learn that Calc 1, I guess. Maybe it wasn't presented exactly in this form. But you probably haven't seen the identity for higher order derivatives. So consider this function that is equal to which we can then write just like we had before where V 
is defined as du dx. And so then with that, you can get the integration, just reapplying the previous rule, previous identity, you can get the integration by parts identity for second derivatives of u. then just substituting back in du dx for v. And we might rearrange this to write it like that. So it just depends on which way we want to go. If we're given a, f a function that looks like this and we want to apply the integration by parts identity to turn it into one where there's a second derivative in u, then we can go that way or we can go the other way. We can use the identity to in either direction. And we'll use this a lot. It's It's sort of the one of the standard pieces of uh, developing a finite element formulation. So.